Good afternoon, Maria Luz. Good afternoon, Madam. Okay, Maria Luz, can you tell me about yourself? Um, I'm Maria Luz Tapales, 27 years of age. Um, I have uh, two kids. Um, I have lived kid partner. Name is Chipil Adlawan, and my kids' name uh, Wayne Jaman Adlawan, Jericho Zakari Adlawan. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Um, because I have an experience, madam. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Um, high quality, uh, high, high salary, madam, good people, and nice place. How are you qualified for this job? Um, hardworking, madam, patient and faith to work. May I know what your education level is? Uh, college level. College level, graduate or undergraduate? Undergraduate. Okay, what is your recent work experience? Promodizer, uh, madam. Okay, promodizer. Okay. Pro pro okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, madam. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, so, madam. How old is the baby? Two years old, madam. How about elderly people? I'm only assist, madam. Okay, assist. Do you have any other special skills? Um, only, oh, only. Only a uh, restaurant and hotel visit, madam. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, madam. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relative stay together? Yes, madam. Currently, are you still working now? No, madam. Do you know I'm... how to cook? Yes, madam. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino only, madam. How about Chinese food, European food, Indian food, and Malay food? I'm willing to learn, madam. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, madam. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? All, madam. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? Um, his father, madam. Okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Okay, so, madam. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Okay, so, madam. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Okay, po, madam. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Okay po, madam. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes po, madam. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years po, madam. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? What is your attitude? Um, uh, patient, po, madam. Okay, patient. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Um, willing to accept, madam. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? 
Yes, po, madam. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, po, madam. Do you really understand some of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, madam. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, po, madam. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, po, madam. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defects? No, po, madam. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, po, madam. Do you smoke? No, po, madam. Have you undergone any operation? No, po, madam. Have you undergone any operation again? No, po, madam. Okay. Are you medical fit? Yes, po, madam. Are you in any medication? Yes, po, madam. I will repeat the question. Are you in any medication? Do you think? Okay. Are you allergic with any food? No, po, madam. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, po, madam. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, po, madam. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, po, madam. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, po, madam. Only a snake, madam. A snake, okay. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, po, madam. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, po, madam. Okay. Maria Luz, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Um, nothing, madam. I will talk my relatives for madam. I will not go home because the policy of of agency. Okay. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, for my kids, madam. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, for my kids, madam, and for, um, I have an experience Okay. Okay, Miss Maria Luz, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Uh, good afternoon, sir, mom. Um, I'm Maria Luz. If you, if you choose me as your employer, uh, um, I try, uh, try my best. Um, I try my best to. Okay, go on. Okay. I try my best. I try my best to. I try my best to do to work with you. Thank you very much.